And New York City's Department of Buildings is now issuing vacate orders to a synagogue over an illegal underground tunnel in the building. Police say nine men were arrested on criminal mischief and reckless endangerment charges for using a hole they dug in the wall to access the Brooklyn synagogue during off hours. In what seems like a plot ripped straight from a B-grade thriller, Brooklyn's historic synagogue turned into a battleground when a horde of furious young Hasidic Jews went berserk over the ceiling of their DIY tunnel network. Yes, you heard it right, a secret tunnel under a synagogue. Sounds like something out of Indiana Jones, doesn't it? As reported by the New York Post, these youngsters, barely out of their teens, took demolition into their own hands at the Chabad Lubavitch World headquarters in Crown Heights. Who knew religious fervor included construction work? Imagine the scene, men in traditional attire, embedded in tunnels, tearing down wood panels and support beams. It's not your everyday synagogue service, folks. Raw's alerts captured the mayhem as NYPD officers valiantly tried to fend off dozens of these extremist tunnel enthusiasts in the 20-foot wide underground compound. These guys flipped wooden pews in a fit of rage. Talk about taking flipping tables to a whole new level. And it gets better. The Hasidic men resorted to hammers to break through the synagogue's brick walls. Because why use doors when you can make your own entrance, right? Despite massive police intervention, several tunnel diehards refused to leave their underground lair, leading to the arrest of at least 10 individuals. The crowd's reaction? Wild applause. It's almost like a twisted episode of Cops. Footage also revealed stained mattresses being dragged out from the tunnels. Now, that's a mystery subplot waiting to be unraveled. What were they doing with mattresses down there? An underground sleepover? Law enforcement finally sealed these Jewish tunnels, ending this bizarre chapter in Brooklyn's history. The Daily Mail notes the ongoing tussle between the young men and the synagogue over property ownership. But the real head-scratcher? Their fascination with the nearby women's ritual bath. I mean, come on, guys. There are better ways to impress the ladies. Israeli National News reports the tunnels were dug six months ago, discovered last month when neighbors heard strange noises. Talk about being nosy neighbors. Structural engineers were then called to assess the damage, because who wouldn't want a second opinion on their amateur tunneling job? The Chabad Lubavitch headquarters, in a statement, expressed their dismay over the vandalism and thanked the NYPD for their professionalism. They said, The Chabad Lubavitch community is pained by the vandalism of a group of young agitators who damaged the synagogue below Chabad headquarters at 770 Eastern Parkway Monday night. They added, these odious actions will be investigated, and the sanctity of the synagogue will be restored. In the end, it's a tale of youthful zeal, religious fervor, and a dash of subterranean mystery. Only in New York, folks. Only in New York.